performance, a clean sheet, but an uh, excellent winning goal and a thoroughly good team performance. Yeah, I thought we were uh, thoroughly deserved of the three points today. I thought, the, um, I thought we were a better team. I thought we rolled, around, rolled the ball around well, we controlled the game, especially in the first half. Um, and again, I think they were, they were brave in the way they played. Um, I felt that the game was opening up the longer the game went on. Um, I thought our midfield three, after the first sort of 20 minutes in the second half, they got hold of the game and sort of dominated it in there. Uh, before the uh, well, the end of last season, there was two divisions uh, difference between these two teams, and I think at times in the first half it looked like that. It became a closer contest in the second when they uh, got uh, a bit of steam up, but uh, overall uh, in control throughout. Yeah, I was, I was happy. I think I've just said the boys there. I think obviously the more chances you give teams in uh, this level, a chance to throw the ball into your box with long throws, free kicks, goal kicks, things like that. There's a lot of averages that are going to cause you trouble at some points. I thought um, Goose and Sam and everyone dealt with the ball really well at times. But again, I think if we, as we just said in there, if we can eradicate them silly little errors, give them a chance to load the ball into our box, it would have been a lot more comfortable for us. I think at times, uh, especially in the last 15, 20 minutes, I think they probably only had one sort of half chance that you'd have probably said could have had a chance to score. And so again, the nullifier team, a good team, uh, down to very limited chances. And again, if we were into the pitch, I think we could have had two or three more. So, again, but to come away to a place like this and get a one 0 win, I'm over. A defender by trade, you must be delighted with the string of clean sheets we put together, especially on the road. Yeah, I think obviously with the way we play, we're open at times, and we said that when we first started that there will be times where we'll leave ourselves vulnerable. But I think the lads look solid, they look organised. I think obviously the two full backs have been fantastic. The same with the Goose and there, amazing as well. So. Again, uh, as much as it's nice to get the clean sheets for the back five, the goalkeeper, I think the whole work rate of the teams making sure that we don't get many chances. Uh, you mentioned the full backs, and uh, Jay Kelly got the winning goal today. Great anticipation, it was a superb diagonal ball from, uh, from Sam Smith, left back area, and uh, I think his presence caused a cop up between uh, defender and uh, midfielder, and there was Jay to pop on the winner. Yeah, he's, he's done well since he's come in. He's been patient because obviously he hasn't played much football for us until the last couple of weeks. So he's been patient and he's done fantastically well since since coming into the team. So we're over the moon with him. And again, um, he's got the energy levels that, that we need at that, in that position to get up and down. And he, and he popped up with a, a vital goal, really. And again, I think if you watch him playing, he's always on the front foot. He's always trying to read the game and, and he's got aggression for a young lad. So again, I'm over the moon with how he's done. You mentioned uh, the defence, you know, a solid unit. Were you happy with the midfield and the you know, attacking options that we provided? Yeah, you? definitely. I think obviously when you look back at the game, I think we probably had two or three chances. And again, on another day, we could have given ourselves a bit more of a comfort at times. But again, I thought the, the midfield three in there dominated the game. I thought Cass again was superb, Tinners and Brad's work rate. And again, as I said to them in there, the subs coming on and making an impact, and that's what we need. And there's no soul kid if they're not playing. And they've got the uh, endeavour to come on and try and make an impact when, when they're coming off the bench. So again, that, that breeds for a uh, good team spirit and making sure that we can be positive moving forward. And a word of praise for Jim Atkinson, calming influence behind a, a steady back four. Yeah, Jim's fantastic. Obviously, he's the type of goalkeeper that I wanted. And again, with him and Mitch pushing each other week in, week out, um, obviously it stands for great competition. And it brings a real um, composure to the back four and, and the defence when, when he's got the ball. He seems really comfortable with his feet as well. Uh, and a word for the travelling support, another good turnout from the uh, working fans this afternoon. Yeah, fantastic. Obviously, we, um, again, we can't thank them enough for the support they give us and the noise they make. It really pulls the boys through at times and, again, um, we're really looking forward to choosing that. Yeah. Uh, top of the league this afternoon, uh, other results have gone our way, so clear leaders. Does that bring added pressure? There's always pressure when you're top of the table. Um, there's always pressure when you've been relegated because teams look at you think you should be in the division higher. We should be in the division higher at least. So again, we won't be resting our laurels. We'll be ready to go Tuesday night. We'll be, we'll be going again 100 miles an hour, making sure that we can put on a performance that hopefully will warrant three points. An excellent afternoon's work, Danny. Well done and uh, enjoy your match winning pint. Cheers, thank you.